Hi everybody, how are you doing? I hope all is well. This is Tara Gurry, your North Myrtle Beach Realtor. I am here at a museum I've wanted to take a look at for several months now, but it's been closed for renovations for over a year. And this is the North Myrtle Beach Area Historical Museum. So um, there's so much information in here, the history, our rich history, and uh, it's absolutely wonderful. So I'm looking forward to bringing you in here and showing you around. Let's get started. So this is located right on 2nd Avenue North. And they have spent a whole year renovating this museum. And you can tell it has been beautifully done. It's open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 4 p.m. Uh, donation funds raised through the admissions, memberships, support the museum. So I just gave my donation. Highly recommend giving a donation here. All righty, so you come in. It's absolutely beautiful here. So there is so much to the museum. So let's go ahead and start with the history. What's interesting, in the Revolutionary War, Peter Ory, for whom Ory County is named after, he was a colonel in the Revolutionary War under General Francis Marion, the Swamp Fox. So actually in the Civil War II, uh, North Myrtle Beach area saw quite a bit of action during the Civil War, um, it was the ideal place for blockade runners to dock, and um, Confederate battery was built at Tillman Point, so it goes way back. So uh, what started out with North Myrtle Beach was a consolidation of towns, several towns, Cherry Grove Town, the Crescent Beach Town, Ocean Drive, and the Windy Hill Beach. So they became incorporated uh, towns in the 50s, early 60s, and then the population of the area continued to increase in the 60s. So in, um, it was actually 1968 was the consolidation of these towns into North Myrtle Beach. And what I find really interesting is, um, so the, this is some of the, um, back then, this is what they posted. You thought big now, act big, vote for North Myrtle Beach. So, um, what's interesting is the name North Myrtle Beach, it could have been any of these names here, Chicora Beach, <clears throat> East Myrtle Beach, Grandest Grand Strand Beach, Honey Hill Beach, uh, Ocean Drive, of course, that is very popular. That's the Main Street area. So the neat thing is, and these are signs that we have out today um, in the sections of these beach towns back then, uh, we still, you can still go by these names as well. <clears throat> so the Cherry Grove Beach area, that's the northern part of North Myrtle Beach. All right, Waits Island, Shell Mounds. So Waits Island is just beyond um, where the intercoastal comes out into to the Atlantic. So just some different uh, memorabilia here from uh, the cities back then. So this is a Polaroid camera. Police for the city of North Myrtle Beach use the camera when taking mug shots at the station. So the baseball teams. 
started back in 1950. So North Myrtle Beach is known for an excellent recreation department. Uh, as a matter of fact, last night when I was grocery shopping, I saw a lot of ladies in the grocery store that um, were softball players, and we have tournaments set up down here for a variety of sports. So there used to be the Surfwood Pharmacy was very popular here. Livingston Seafood was located on 17 and Main Street. And then the Surfwood Shopping Center was very popular. That was on 2nd Avenue back in uh, back in the 30s. Oh, and I gotta love this as a photographer. So here's um, famous brownie cameras. My grandmother had the one right back there and you have to hold it down to go ahead and get it into perfect view. So a lot to see here. Ah, watch out in beers. So the black beers, we don't have many around here right at the beach, but um, we do have quite a few in South Carolina. So they're our largest land animals that we have in South Carolina and the only type of beer found in the state. So when I go out hiking by Greenville, South Carolina, that's where they are. Of course, one of my favorite things to do is collect seashells. And these are the seashells of the Carolinas. We even have a Grand Strand Shell Club. And then North Myrtle Beach has a great uh, sea turtle patrol. They do an excellent job. So fishing, of course, is huge here. Fishing right off the shore, fishing off the pier. And then the river life here is big as well. So we have a lot of rivers that come in um, <clears throat> that go through Horry County. So just a whole variety of the rural life. So a butter churner from the early 1900s, a butter mold from 1900. So this is to show too that back in, um, back at the turn of the century and after that, there were many farmers, loggers, turpentine men of the past that were very familiar with these tools. So logging, turpentine, and um, the rural life, that's a lot of the industries back in the day and the farmers, that was the agriculture and the um, way that they made money. So here's some of the old Uniforms here. So Kelly Ann Tillman, you hear me mention all the time, the Tillman section. So these are some of the celebrities from this area. So her family, uh, they own the Tillman section and they made sure that no high rises were gonna be built in that one little area of, um, Tillman Beach, and it's my favorite beach now. So celebrities and beauties, and yes, Vanna White is from North Myrtle Beach. She's such a lovely person. So she went to North Myrtle Beach High as well. And her whole family, they've stayed here, live here. Right. 
So here is Bullinose. That's no here is yeah, here's uh the OD section and um the arcade. They used to have Ferris wheels. And then the lifeguards. Lifeguards here are absolutely excellent. So they've been here for several decades. And the swimsuits that were worn. There was um, a special swimsuit shop that sold those. So shaggers. So we are home to shaggers, um, SOS, the Society of Stranders. So it's considered the uh, shag capital of the world. So everyone comes here to shag dance. It's kind of similar to a swing dance, but it was born here. Originally, it was called the Carolina Shag back in the 30s and 40s, dances at the pavilion. They would come in and did steps from the jitterbug moves, and then um, they blended jitterbug moves with um, a swing dance, and it became the Carolina Shag. So play that music from the jukebox. So twice a year, there's the Society of Stranders that come here. Shaggers come from all over North Carolina, Georgia, to go ahead and enjoy shag dancing and beach music. So that is Jackie McGee and Charlie Womble. And Shag the movie was filmed in Myrtle Beach and um, back in 88. And I actually was in college at the time and dating myself here, that's okay. But was able to go down there and um, see them film Shag on the pavilion. That was so exciting. And I saw Penelope Cruz. My first boyfriend had the biggest crush on her. So I thought that was kind of neat. So again, the beach service community is um, absolutely fabulous here. SOS, again, Society of Strand, Strand is the first one that was back in the 80s. And a picnic table, just want to show that because uh, a friend of mine who passed on last year, uh, Sonny Nixon, proprietor of Sonny's Pavilion in Cherry Grove, built the picnic table for his customers. That picnic table right there in the 60s. I wonder if there's a picture of him. He's a very handsome man. He was fit. And um, I met him at the gym at the Aquatic Center, and we became good buddies. And he would tell me stories about back in the day at the pavilion. So this is a quilt of the shaggers. And then it goes on and on with the music in here. Beach music and I wanna show you the pictures here. So let's go ahead and start from the beginning. I should say from the history. So this is the Little, Little River area back in 1955. So notice all the greenery, notice all the trees. Things have changed so much. So this is the intercoastal bringing you out to the ocean. So here is Cherry Grove. So this is in 1955. So pretty unbelievable. Just uh, small homes here and still lots of trees. That's the point. It's the Cherry Grove Pier back then. And here, uh, what they did that they called it, the, here's the Tillman Fishing Pier at Ocean Boulevard, 2nd Avenue North back in 1955. So Hurricane Hugo destroyed that pier in 89. So there used to be that pier right in the OD section. 
And then this is all the way back to the 1900s at the beach. Notice they all looked like they were ready to go to church. They all had on kind of formal attire and um, swimsuits were more like shorts and a tank top. And then, so this is the Windy Hill section back in 1955. Ocean Drive in 1955. So look at this, this is kind of neat. Bathhouse, beach towels, floats, blankets, umbrellas. So this is Main Street. So to this day, we still have the pavilion, the arcade right here. And the water tower as well. So this is an aerial view of Barefoot Traders, the precursor of Barefoot Landing, Entertainment and Shopping Complex. This was in 1970. So now Barefoot Landing is a booming place with excellent restaurants, entertainment, shopping. So this is photography by Jack Thomas. Thompson, sorry. This is Ocean Drive, Crescent Beach, Tillman Pier, around 1955. And the Main Street and Ocean Drive area, 1955. So notice just, it's a couple blocks with buildings and whatnot, and then beyond that, all trees, forests, so a lot of development has taken place to go ahead and accommodate all the people that love North Myrtle Beach. So beautiful shag mural is here. Mural. And then shag memory quilts, which are very nice. Some old shag shoes. All right, everybody. So there's so much more to see here. Can't get to it all. You need to go ahead and spend some time here. And then they have a nice gift shop here where you can buy some things for gifts for yourself. North Myrtle Beach Times. That's our local paper here. All righty, so let's head on outside. It's such a beautiful day. It's an absolutely gorgeous day here. And it's the first week in March. All right, everybody. So happy to take you on this tour of the museum. Again, I've been waiting a while to go ahead and show you all this. Um, and so happy I was able to do so today. You really need to take the time and come and visit yourself and read all about our rich history and everything else that um, North Myrtle Beach was and is. It's a great place to live, vacation. Can't say enough about it. I'm actually going to be heading down to the beach in an hour or so, taking a nice little walk on the beach. Love it here um, and you will too. Um, Take care until next time.